One of the challenges a lot of my students face when they're learning Clo 3D are the sewing tools. When to use segment versus free sewing, when to use M to N sewing. So let's talk about those tools and how to use them. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikkel Drew Pelham. I talk about digital fashion design software and communication on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. The first surprise to many of my students is the fact that you have to virtually sew your garment at all. Yeah, that was kind of a surprise to me too. But it makes sense. I mean, this software is virtually mimicking what you do if you made a physical garment. And in real life, you sew up a garment before you can put it on. Now, there's a few different sewing tools. There's segment sewing, which I'm in the minority here, but is my favorite tool to use. Free sewing, which seems to be pretty much everyone else's favorite sewing tool and edit sewing, which allows you to, as the name indicates, edit any sewing you've added to your garment. So what's the difference? Segment sewing allows you to click on one segment at a time to create your sewing. You click on the line that you want to sew from and then click on the line you want to sew to. And segment sewing is great if you're sewing to and from parts of your pattern that don't have multiple points along a line. If there are points breaking up a line into multiple segments, free sewing is probably the better option. With free sewing, you drag your cursor along the line you want to sew from, click the mouse when you want to end sewing on that line, and then drag along the line you want to sew to, and again, click to end the line. Free sewing also allows you to partially sew an area. So if you want to leave part of your line open and don't want to sew the whole thing, like if you have a slit or something, you're able to do that. I prefer to sew in the 2D window, but the nice thing about the sewing tools is that you can sew in the 2D or 3D window. So you have more of a visual as you're doing it. Also, when you sew, there's a little perpendicular line that appears on the sewing line. Make sure that's on the same side of the sewing line, right side or left side of each segment you're sewing. If not, your sewing will be twisted. You'll also be able to see if your sewing is twisted. The threads that connect one line to the other should appear straight, not crossed. As you're using the sewing tools, you'll also see something called MN sewing, which you might think, what the what? MN sewing is available as a free or segment sewing option. And you use this when you need to sew one pattern piece to multiple pieces. So for instance, say I created this color blocking at the bottom of this dress, and now I want to sew the upper body to the two lower body pieces. So to do that, I will use MN sewing. I'll sew from the upper body, hit enter, and then sew to the other two pieces and hit enter again. By the way, hitting the enter key is important for this one, but Clo does prompt you to do it so you won't forget. Once you've sewn everything together, you can of course simulate so you can see your new creation on the avatar. And if anything is a little weird or wonky, you'll see it right away after it simulates and you can switch to the edit sewing tool to fix it. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you check out some of my other Clo videos on this channel or sign up for my beginner Clo 3D online course. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next time.